Hello everyone, Tabitha here. I'm bringing you guys a product review, demo, all of that good stuff of this Simply Homemade Muffin and Bread Mix that I found at the Dollar Tree. And this is in the raspberry flavor. Now to do the bread, I'm gonna do the bread. You can make muffins as well. But for the bread, you're gonna need the baking mix as included. And you're also gonna need a one single serves container of plain or vanilla flavored Greek yogurt. So I did get the Yoplait Greek vanilla flavor and this is 5.3 ounces. I did get this from my local grocery store for 88 cents, it was on sale. You also are going to need two large eggs, one third cup of oil and then one fourth cup of water so it does say to preheat preheat your oven to 375 so we're actually cooking dinner already so the oven is actually already been preheated and it's actually at the temperature now so i'm gonna go ahead and pour the contents into the bowl and it says combine all ingredients in a large mixing bowl with a spoon Stir into a mixture forms a batter about 50 to 60 strokes or mix 30 seconds at medium speed with an electric mixer. Scrape down the sides and mix for an additional uh, 30 seconds. I only have a whisk. so All right, so I'm going to put all the, I got the mix in the bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and add the water, the oil, two eggs. And now, last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and add the yogurt. Okay, so all the ingredients are into the bowl, so now I'm going to mix it all together. The consistency that I got. Okay, guys, it also says for a simple flavor twist, you can try adding any of these ingredients some frozen peaches, some sliced almonds, or a half a cup of chocolate chips. So I think I'm going to add some chocolate chips. See if I got some chocolate chips. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add in the half cup of chocolate chips and give that a little mix. spray the pan just because I'm not sure if it's going to come out uh, if it's going to stick to the pan or not so I prefer just to go ahead and use just to go ahead and kind of grease the pan so this is what it looks like after I added the chocolate chips so I'm going to use my spatula and pour it into this bread pan here step it says bake for 45 to 50 minutes or until a wooden pick inserted in center comes out clean currently 841 so i'm going to go ahead and stick this in the oven i'm going to put a timer on the oven we're going to put it to about 40 minutes and then i'll check on it after it beeps and if it needs any additional cooking i'll cook it for the last 10 minutes so in the oven it goes we also got dinner cooking so i'll just put that on the side there Basically 9.23, time to take it out of the oven. It's fresh out the oven. I'm gonna use a little toothpick here and poke it. The toothpick came out clean, so we don't need to put the extra 10 minutes on it. Cool and pan for 10 minutes. 
Remove from pan, let loaf cool completely on a wire rack, about one hour, slice, serve, and enjoy. So I'm gonna let this cool and then we're going to test it out and see if this is good or not. It's been 10 minutes, probably a little longer. So I'm going to have the hubby and Asian A try a piece to see how they like it. And I'm glad I greased the pan because it's coming out very easily. If you guys can see that. Close up. Remember, I did put chocolate chips in it, so. I'm gonna get hubby here to try and see how he likes it. First impressions here. Different. Different taste. You're not scale to one to ten. What would you say? What's in it? Uh, yogurt. Uh, the chocolate chips I threw in it. The blueberry. It's raspberry. Raspberries and chocolates kind of throw it off. Okay. So, uh, fighting the, they're fighting each other for the flavor, the dominance of flavor. But moisture is very moist. I right? even like the crustiness on the outside. But I'm just confused. It's it's just giving my my taste buds too much information. So we're gonna have Asian A try it. She's got her hair tie on. It's almost ten o'clock at night, so good. It's good. Do you like the, the flavor and the taste? Yeah. What does it taste like? Do you taste anything any specific? Oh, it tastes like fruit. It tastes like fruit. Okay. Alright. So now I'm gonna try it. It's pretty good. It's very moist, like uh, Baron said. The raspberry flavor is pretty good. And I like that little crustiness on there. On the outside too, so this is pretty good. Okay, so I did want to show the nutrition facts just in case anyone is interested in that. Thoughts on this is that it is pretty good. I'm not gonna, gonna lie. It is good. It, it is something that I would purchase again. I'm I'm glad I, I got the um that I added the yogurt to it. I think that kind of helped with the moistness and stuff too. You guys like this this bread. It, it makes a, a pretty good size loaf too and to get it for a dollar you know it's a pretty good deal so if you guys have tried it and made this if you made muffins or just the, the plain old bread comment down below and let me guys know what your thoughts are on it so thanks guys for watching and i'll check you guys out in the next video bye